Hello everyone and welcome to a T-Rex exhibit speed build in Jurassic World Evolution 2 that I hope will give you plenty of inspiration for your own parks. If you're enjoying these videos, and there will be many more because I have lots of ideas, then hit the like and subscribe for more. All of the exhibit speed builds will be combined in a playlist so you can mix and match ideas for your own park builds. In this video, I'm building my own take on the T-Rex kingdom because your eyeballs have probably already told your brain, hey! That is not the T-Rex kingdom, and your eyeballs are very, very right. Well done, eyeballs. Until the day comes when we have the log viewing gallery, there's really not much point in trying to recreate the T-Rex kingdom, so I put my own spin on the concept. The basic idea is that it is an area of the park exclusively dedicated to the T-Rex. It's closed off from the rest of the park and provides four different ways of seeing the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Through viewing galleries located on the main part of the exhibit, uh, there's a tour, there's a feeding show, and you can also look into the nighttime habitat. You just saw me make the nighttime habitat using the monorail tracks as the roof. And over here, this section is the feeding show for the T-Rex. We're going to put a goat feeder there. And the idea is that at set times, the gates open and the T-Rex comes in to have a nosh. I'm adding little details using uh, fences, like making, making it a little bit more 3D, adding two different types of fences over one another, just to make it look a little bit more interesting, a little less flat, what you would usually do. Do with the fencing and I think that's a really good idea that I'm going to be incorporating more in my other exhibits as well. Now I'm working on um, the, the terrain a little bit. I dropped it down a tiny bit just so the viewing galleries are going to have a really good look at the overall exhibit and the tour that's going to pass right behind it. I placed a gate just in the exhibit, it doesn't really have a function, but what's really nice is that the gate does still open when the tour cars pass by behind it. So it's sort of, it's part of the experience, you know, it's part of the, um, like the universal style uh, ride that you're getting here. Now I'm getting so, rid of some of the pillars in the, uh, in the nighttime enclosure using the rocks. Uh, I left a lot of the pillars in the middle, but I did open up uh, just a little bit so you can again, from the viewing gallery see the tour that will pass by behind it. Now a little bit of water. I made the nighttime habitat all sandy to sort of, you know, pretend that it's more comfortable. Kinda. And what I also did over here is I sort of made a T-Rex nest using rocks in sort of a semi-circular formation. A little bit similar to what we saw in Camp Cretaceous where, you know, she just built a nest out of all sorts of stuff, including uh, including metal palm trees. And, you know, rocks aren't the most comfortable, but it's the only thing I could use to make sort of a nest-like structure. So that's what I went with. And I think it's, uh, yeah, it looks pretty cozy. It looks all right. Now it's onto the guest area, decorating that a little bit with the uh, with the planters. So I lined the the large square over here with the planters just to make it look a little bit more decorated. Since this is, you know, the the idea here is that it's um it's a one stop for all. So I am adding shops as well. Uh, because when you go in here, you know, you want to, you want to have all of the amenities available to you to have the best possible experience in the T-Rex kingdom. What I'm doing right now is I, uh, I deleted part of the path because what I wanted to do is sort of have a ticket office here and sort of pretend that if you want to see the T-Rex feeding show, you have to buy additional tickets. Yes, that is super shitty if that happens in a theme park, but I do like adding that sort of overly commercial kind of shitty stuff because I feel like it's kind of realistic so this is sort of um i guess you could, maybe you could see it as a vip section the vips um or if you again purchase an additional ticket you can get access to the t-rex feeding show uh, i curved the path around it and i did something pretty cool with that in uh, making it layered i don't do that quite yet that's something i thought of later uh, but here's the main entry point to the t-rex kingdom so it's just the one entry point uh, the entire kingdom is going to get lined with fences, so it's really its own separate thing within the park. And, you know, it's it's the place where everyone's gonna want to go, because obviously T-Rex is... 
arguably the most famous dinosaur ever. So when you go to a dinosaur park, you're going to want to see the T-Rex. And you might not even mind paying a little bit extra to see the T-Rex feed on a goat. Here we go. This is what I mentioned earlier. I'm going to delete the middle section of the path so I can raise up the back section and make that a little bit higher than the front path so that you sort of create like a, a little amphitheater where, you know, people get uh, good viewing uh, opportunities from both the front and the back because the back is a little bit higher so you can look over the people in the front. I think that's uh, that turned out really nice. Some decorative work, because you can never have too much decorative work. I go crazy with the flags and the lights and the planters. I just love them so much. I'm really, really, really happy that we finally have that sort of stuff in the game. Here I'm customizing the building. That's something I tend to either forget or neglect a little bit because it does require some time that I don't oftentimes feel like spending. But for this one, I felt like it was important to give it the right color and the right theming and some trees in front of it because it is such a big concrete area that I added the trees to the buildings to break that up a little bit, bring more nature into it. Of course, more planters, more lights, more tables and chairs and parasols because I love those. Uh, and we're just continuing on with even more decorative stuff. The more detail you add to your park, the better it's going to look. So yes, it is an investment of time and it doesn't always feel that exciting to place planters in a perfect line. But in the end, the results will be better for it. So if you're ever thinking to yourself, hmm, the level of my park just isn't quite where I want it to be, just add more stuff to it. Really, minimalism, ha there's no place for minimalism here, okay? Just add more stuff. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm lining um, the, the amphitheater, quote-unquote, with uh, rock planters at the front and then... Uh, flower beds behind that and then more flower beds with trees behind that so many planters so little time but it really just helps make it look more special more decorated and more realistic because you know you don't want to see all of these empty patches of of ground all over the place this really makes it look more like a real theme park because real theme parks they have stuff all over the place here I'm adding tables and chairs with parasols for the lazy people who want to view the feeding show for the Tyrannosaurus Rex. They can uh, they can take a rest a little bit as they watch a goat um, get murdered brutally. <laughs> And I'm also adding a little restaurant back here for the people with strong stomachs who can watch a T-Rex gobble up one after another goat and still feel like, hmm, yeah, I want to eat some sushi. Uh, and the rest of it is really just adding more decorations, adding more details to this T-Rex kingdom. Now, I made it a quote-unquote T-Rex kingdom. Of course, you can do this for any type of species. I really like this concept of, you know, dedicated areas for certain species within a park. I think that gives the individual species and the individual habitats the wow factor that they deserve by making this big hoopla all around it with, uh, you know, four different viewing opportunities for the dinosaur in question. I think that's really, really, really nice and I will be doing that more often, including for the Indominus Rex, which I'm also going to be building. But first I have an idea for a mega aviary that I want to share with you so again if you like these mini speed build projects then please do subscribe to the channel there's a lot more coming and I really like showing this to you guys so you can you can pick whatever stuff you like about these builds and you can incorporate those in your own parks of course you don't have to recreate this this full design you can if you want to I will include like an overview shot and a map view at the end of this video so you can recreate it if you want to but you can also just just look at the little details that you want to use for your own parks and put your own creative spin on that. And I'm really excited to show you more. So yeah, we have a mega aviary coming. We have stuff for the Indominus Rex coming. I have an idea for a Spinosaurus, Brachiosaurus. And if you have specific species that you want to see a dedicated habitat build for, then leave a suggestion in a comment down below. And depending on how much inspiration I have and how well this series is received by you guys then I will definitely be getting to you guys a suggestion. 
So here we are at the end of the video. I'm just doing a little showcase of what I've built. Uh, it's three sections, essentially the main habitat, the feeding show area, and the nighttime habitat in the back with the monorail track roof overhead. And I think it looks pretty dang cool. Let me know in a comment down below what you think of this T-Rex kingdom, my take on it. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and until next time, enjoy the game. Mm-hmm. <laughs>